Hey loves, it's Britt, and in this video I'm talking about the Sun Trine or Sextile to Pluto in Sinistry. So this aspect tends to have a confidence boosting effect. Not immediately usually because there is still a transformation that is required here, um, but usually the Pluto person is able to be a catalyst for the sun person to actually become more of their sun self or at least um, become a more higher integrated um, like conscious version of their sun self so this aspect of all the sun pluto aspects in sinistry is probably the easiest um, to deal with because it's a more gentle um, even like a rejuvenating quality um, is how one of my books describes it so there's still the same level though of plutonic attraction meaning that we can still be a little bit obsessed with each other um, the Pluto person is still facing, you know, the Pluto wound, but the way that the sun person interacts with them in the trine or sextile, it's like a, a gentle um, unfolding of that wound where, you know, we're able to look at where we're vulnerable, look at where we're hurting and um, really transform um, and become like a more healed, integrated version of ourselves. So the flow of healing tends to, uh, well, it just tends to be more flowing than with the hard aspects. Um, but with the same level of attraction, this one can feel very soothing. Um, it can still be pretty triggering. It's still probably like not an easy relationship. You know, you wouldn't even call Pluto in a trine or sextile aspect to Sun an easy aspect. You know, you're still going to have to face things. You're still going to have to look at these deeper parts of you that, you know, would not come up in a more superficial relationship. So it's still definitely a plutonic relationship. It just tends to be of the more soothing or healing variety. Um, it with other compatibility and you know other nice sinistry aspects, this one can be really good for long term, steady, stable growth. Um, there also could be success in a business or financial sense because. You know, think about it's kind of like when you have transit Pluto um, trine or sextile your sun, you tend to um, be more focused on your outward success. The sun has a lot to do with our outward identity and um, what we want to be seen for. It's a lot to do with our confidence, our light and um, our purpose. So when we have someone's Pluto operating in this way towards our sun, it acts similarly to the transit where we can become more focused on our true purpose and this can lead to success in um, an outer se sense or a, a business sense. Um, but it, even before that happens, it the success comes because of that regeneration of our identity or that um, transformation of our identity where the Pluto person is able to like shine a laser light on our sun and um, that allows us to in a sense drop false identities and masks and maybe like parental programming or family like programming that is not um, for our highest purpose and our highest good in this lifetime so you can see the uh Pluto person um, really helping the sun person gain awareness and who they truly are and their purpose. And, um, you know, it's like kind of the opposite to when we have a, a hard sun Pluto aspect where sometimes the Pluto person is undermining the sun person's confidence or self-worth. We actually see kind of a different story here where um, the Pluto person really builds up the sun and, you um, they can really have the opportunity. Now, it's not going to be like this 100% of the time. You can still see the Pluto person reacting to the sun person jealously or um, just 
bringing up the negative qualities of their Pluto. It depends on, you know, where they're at with their own Pluto, right? Because the Pluto person is still going to be triggered by the sun, right? Um, but, uh, yeah, usually we're going to see the Pluto person, even if they aren't acting in a higher way, it still um, is beneficial for the sun person. The sun person is still, like, able to um, build on that energy in a positive way. And um, it's really, like I said, this is a confidence building aspect, a power um, aspect, a power couple aspect. Um, Trines and sextiles of Pluto are really nice to see in synastry because we build each other up in a very deep way rather than tearing each other down. And um, it can really make up for some of the harder things that we have going on in our synastry because we are transforming in a positive way and so we can get the sense even like a soul feeling that this relationship is purposeful this relationship is you know an important part of our soul's journey whereas with some of the hard aspects we maybe don't always feel like that but with this aspect we can feel like we're moving in a direction that is favorable for both of us so um it's a nice one to see. The trine is significantly more powerful than the sextile and more um, inborn where, you know, we really uh, don't think about it. It is just happening. Like the Pluto person isn't thinking, oh, I'm going to help the sun person. And in doing so, I'm going to also transform my Pluto wound. It's not a conscious thought, but that is what is happening. With the sextile, it's a little bit more conscious and a little bit more like... The Pluto person has to consciously make the make the choice like, oh, I'm going to build the sun person up. It's not like um, as natural, but it can definitely be just as powerful and even a bit more um, like sexy or exciting with the sextile because we're more conscious of what's going on. Um, but the sexual pull is, is quite strong with both of these aspects. And um, it also can lead to a pretty high level of physical compatibility. The sun um, is also a physical energy, so there can be a lot of sexual attraction for each other and um, an ability to transform through sex, but you'd have to look at Venus and Mars too to see what they're doing. But um, generally, this is going to give um, an intense fascination with each other, and for good reason, this can be um, a positive... Uh, transformative influence to have in your life and it can lead to a lot of success you're gonna want to look at the uh, houses and the the signs that this trine is taking place in um, because an earth trine is going to be different than a water trine right you have to look at um, what's being transformed or if it's a sextile you know is it earth water or fire air what do we got going on here because that's going to color a lot of um the what is actually transforming here, you know, but um, generally what I've said is like the, you know, general theme of it. So I would consider it lucky. I would consider it good karma and um, very favorable to have in your synastry. And it can make up for some of the, you know, more difficult stuff that you probably have because <laughs> no one synastry is just a bunch of trines and sextiles. So yeah, this one can really make it feel like we have a purpose together and and um, we're both positively gaining from the experience. So yeah, I'd love to know your experience of this aspect. Was it like this? Was it not like this? Let me know in the comments, you guys, and keep your requests coming. And yeah, we'll talk soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.